big prices in this Fox Hunters. 66 to 1 against Andy Burnett, 25 to 1 all Rome. Castle Main has drifted out from 3 to 1 to 4 to 1. It's now 9 to 2 against Castle Main. 10 to 1 Celtic Abbey along with Cool Abbey. Destin Destreville out to 12 to 1 with 66 to 1 Earl Boone. It's 7 to 2 favourite Elegant Lord from 4 to 1. The favourites have flip flopped and Ireland have won this four times. Elegant Lord won it in 96, running in the race for the fourth time. Forest Fountain is 50 to 1, 10 to 1 Irish Stout, 33 to 1 against King Taurus. Last option at 20 to 1, Mr Horatio 100 to 1, Mr Boston and a Pony 25 to 1. It's 200 to 1 against Sands of Gold. Satin Lovers at 40 to 1, along with Stag Fight also at 40 to 1. The next one is also a 16 to 1 chance. Then comes Tino Tops at 20 to 1. Tom's Gemini is put in at 100 to 1. 7 to 1 against Vary Keeney. That's a 7 to 1 chance. And it's then Joy for Life is 50 to 1. And the bottom one, Nether Tara, is put in double carpet, 33 to 1. One very keen of at 10, Celtic Abbey, Cool Abbey, and Irish Stout. Destin Destraval at 12 to 1. 16 to 1 Storbridge Bill and last option. Tino Tops at 20s on 25's Call Home, Mr. Boston and Nether Tara. King Taurus at 33 to 1. And then on 40s Stack Fight and Satin Lover. 50 to 1 Joy for Life and Forest Fountain along with Andy Burnett. 66 to 1 Earl Boone. At 100's Andermatt, Mr. Horatio and Tom's Gemini Star. And Sands of Gold at 200 to Race away for the champion hunter chase then, 22 fences again to jump and Satin Lover uh, takes a prominent call early on. Also Castle Main running fast early, Earl Boone through on the inside and Elegant Lord. Uh, why have we got Celtic Abbey and these five will be in the air together. Uh, they're all safely over, the back marker is Tom's Gemini Star. Uh, but it's now on the inside Castle Main that takes it from Satin Lover. Uh, wide Celtic Abbey, one, two and three, Elegant Lord leads through it on the inside in four. Cool Abbey slightly awkward in five. Destin Destrovala trailer now as they come up past the enclosures. Castle Main edging on by about a length to Satin Lover. Then we've got uh, uh, Celtic Abbey running in uh, closing third. Elegant Lord in four. Rank outside of Sands of Gold holds five. On the outside of that was uh, King of Taurus. Towards the back markers, uh, Tom Gemini Star. Also in arrears is Stag Flight as they swing left-handed. Race downhill and it's Castle Main showing the way. From Satin Lover in the black and white striped jacket, Elegant Lord tucked away on the inside, then Celtic Gabby towards the outside, King Taurus as they clear this one, Stalbridge Bill right out the back with Mr Horatio and Tom's Gemini Star. Onto the water jump, Castle Main with a big white face. From Satin Lover and then last option towards the outside, followed through by Celtic Gabby, Elegant Lord on the inside still, just uh, tracking the leaders, Mr Boston towards the outside, Call Home and Andermatt just hunting up the leading three or four as they take the next open ditch. The leader's safely over that. Earl Boone is uh, well back now, having been uh, quite prominent early on as they continue on towards another plain one. And it's Castle Main from last option, Satin Lover, as they take this one. And Forest Fountain made a pretty bad mistake when quite handy there. And now they make a slight left-hand turn towards another open ditch. Castle Main, Elegant Lord is very free, strains the reins in second place. And then Cool Abbey now on the inside of uh, Satin Lover as they take this one from last option. Celtic Abbey behind these. And these are tracked by Mr. Boston towards the inside as they race towards another plain one. Behind the leading bunch was King Taurus and then Andermatt towards the outside. And Irish Stout is in midfield towards the inside as they take this plain fence at the top. Sands of gold right out the back, so is Varakinov and then Earl Boone as they make a left-hand turn at the top of the hill and Castle Main just about has his nose in front still from Elegant Lord, a couple of lengths to Satin Lover and then towards the inside is Cool Abbey from Andermatt then from Celtic Abbey as they take the next Forest Fountain towards the outside, Sands of Gold made a slight mistake, down the hill they go. And indeed they do. With Elegant Lord, the three to one favourite on the inside, the white cap, Castle Main, 92 second places are showing the lead with him. At this stage, we're looking off the uh, 71 shot is, oh, and Castle Main nose hits the ground there. But uh, Stalbridge Bill is behind them. And we're off at this stage, Green Cap is a long way down at this stage and being niggled along on this faster ground. But it's Elegant Lord, who uh, really does love it here at Cheltenham. He has the edge to Castle Main in second place. Then Cool Abbey through on the inside, and last option getting a little bit closer. That's where you can fall. Celtic Abbey behind these. King Taurus uh, makes a wide sweep. Irish Stout gets a little bit closer through on the inside, tracking Mr. Boston. Satin Lover 
is still there, but still the big two are playing uh, for the lead here. Slight mistake by Sadin Lover. Tino Tops gets a little bit closer, come down towards fence 12. Elegant Law, the inside of Castle Main. And then we've got last option going in third, Sadiq Abbey and Cool Abbey and Mr. Boston and Tino Tops and Irish Town and King Taurus. Half of that one is Nether Tara and then Stallbridge Bill. Pushed along now is Forest Found and a lap to go. Sadiq Lover drops away. And Matt Marikinoff, difficult to see that one winning. Tail end Charlie's include Stag Flight. Last of all is Earl Boone as they swing away, race down the hill. And Castle Main under Ben Pollock, the outside. Oh, Felligan Lord and Philip Fenton go one and two. Last option is third. Down the hill they go, and uh, one that's making steady headway from the rear is Destan Destravel. He's gone up into about midfield now as they jump the first down the back. And it's Elegant Lord and Castle Main that continue head and head for the lead as they continue now towards the water jump. Earl Boone right out the back towards the outside Celtic Abbey in the orange jacket. Last option lies a close fourth at the water. And then Cool Abbey from Mr. Boston. And then uh, behind those was uh, uh, Tino Tops. And Amat has dropped right away. So has Mr. Horatio. And now a big open dish. Castle Main and Elegant Lord. Last option Celtic Abbey. Cool Abbey. And then Tino Tops and Irish Stout and Mr. Boston who's now under strong pressure as they continue towards another plain fence and there Castle Main really kicked into that fence and jumped it well. Elegant Lord though has been a close pursuer throughout as they now make this left hand turn. Last option is third Celtic Abbey four, Cool Abbey Irish Stout and then Tino tops King Taurus chases these, the big open ditch there, Castle Main he's made one mistake but he's jumping pretty good otherwise as they continue on now towards a plain fence it's five from the finish and it's Castle Main that continues to show in front from Elegant Lord in second at this one. The two leaders ahead of last option. Cool Abbey towards the inside. Celtic Abbey on the outside. Irish Stout still getting a bit closer. Red Jacket in sixth position as they make the top turn. They've got four left to jump and it's the white-faced Castle Main who's got such a huge reputation continues to show the way in the Christie's Fox Hunters. Elegant Lord second. They're getting away from last option. Irish Stout, Celtic Abbey and then Cool Abbey. So down the hill they come then, come down towards the third last, and it's uh, Castle Main. So very few have got into this race. Castle Main just has the edge. Two elegant Lord the outside, only a neck in it, and last option Fiona Needham is running on well in third. Irish Stout noses the ground in a remote four. So it looks like a head-to-head -head as they make the turn towards the home straight. Just two to jump in the Christie's Fox Hunters. Castle Main and Elegant Lord have been locked in combat throughout, but now it's really tough going up the hill. And don't rule out last option for Fiona. She's getting closer in third. A long way remote is Irish Stout. Two out, and it's Castle Main who sails over it in majestic style. Elegant Lord is in second place and under pressure. Last options is back in third. One to jump for Castle Main. This is the final fence, and he's magic. Two in second place, Elegant Lord, who's going to be placed again. Last options runs on up the hill, and so Castle Main, the horse with a tall reputation, comes home to win the champion. Hunter's chase, and he's going to go places. Big offers will be for Castle Main. Castle Main takes it in second place is Elegant Lord. Third is a gallant last options. A remote fourth is Irish Dad, but finishing in front of Tino Tops. And then Cool Abbey and then the Celtic Abbey. After these came uh, King Taurus and then Nether Tara. Mr. Boston finished, Sergei Destin Destravel, uh, Marikin off, but never got into the race, did he? Joy for Life beats one home. That one was Master Horatio. The rest have pulled up, and so. It's a triumphant win here for Castle Main in the colours of Mr Charles Dixie. This one trained by Caroline Bra uh, Bailey. Of course, the, uh, the fountain place for Teton Mill. Ben Pollock rides his Christie's Fox Hunters winner. It's hard work, but it's well worth it. Second horse home was number nine, Elegant Lord, running in the race for the fourth time. Third was number 13, which uh, was last options and Fiona Needham, but Castle Main has won this. The Christie's Fox Hunters, a generous 9-2. to two. Future Castle Main, the 9-2 to two winner of this Christie's Fox Hunters today. Second number nine, Elegant Lord, the 3-1 to one favorite. Third number 13, last option at 20-1, 24 rounds.